Hey, thanks for stopping by. Uh, this video is a short video on how I rebuild one of the parts. Now, we're also giving away a shirt this, this week. It starts next weekend. I'll pull the name. The computer will pull the name. So it's for Stump Grinding Mafia t-shirts. And even, you know, hey, if you're a guy that works in a shop or whatever, you deserve one too. So I don't care who enters this and I don't care where in the world you are. You're eligible to win. The computer picks it. So... Uh, I pick it off the comments. All you gotta do is make a comment. I'll leave the comment up even if it's, hey, if it's constructive criticism, it's okay. If it's just some nasty negative remark, I delete you. But anyway, what it is next weekend, uh, whatever comments are of this video, on this video, you gotta be a subscriber, make a comment, computer picks in you in a shirt. Last time it was Fred Passant from Canada. Hey, maybe you this time. Anyway, God bless you. Watch the video. Have a great Sunday. And, you know, Monday's the end of the world, huh? Yeah, whatever. The eclipse we got here in Oklahoma. We're going to have so many visitors coming through. It's going to be a hard day to work and grind stumps. But, long story short, have a good one, man. All right. I've been working on my tractor to set. We ground stumps first part of the morning. It's Saturday. Got back home at noon. I decided uh, I had to change hydraulic fluid in my tractor. I said, ah, that'll take 30 minutes, whatever. Well, hell, it's an old tractor. It took me longer than that, and I hate hydraulic fluid. But here we are. We got one, well, two of the parts back from the machine shop. And, you know, you know in the last couple of videos how I beefed that up underneath there and plated it with a half-inch plate. This here is, oh, let's say the axle that go, the pivots left and right. I got this back from the machine shop. I didn't really look till I put it in my truck. Then looked at it again and it said, you know, I made a U-turn, went back. The owner's 87 years old and it, the shop is getting old. I'm not pointing fingers, throwing rocks, whatever you guys want to call. I'm just saying... Remember, they had to cut this down for me. I gave them dimensions to machine it because we thickened that up. And when you thicken that up, you I had to reduce the center here. Well, you see that little cut right there? That's where the old um, grease fitting was, right? So they, they machined it, but let's... The machinist wasn't there, so like the shop assistant or whatever took it on his own to machine this. Does this look like a nice machine surface? Well, I'll answer for you. Look, see how the lip's up here from here? Of course, it doesn't fit in there. So that's one end that was supposed to machine. It's supposed to be cut and then machine true and flat. It's not. I could play with it with a hand file which I'm going to use normal tools like if you guys were going to do it. I'm going to use a four and a half inch angle grinder and a, probably a 60 inch disc. I only got to take a little bit off. I'll buff this off. And then, I don't know if I can lift this with one hand, but I'll show you the other side. Holy Toledo. You call this machine surface? I don't. I pointed it out to the old man. He took money off. I paid really good money for this. So I found another machine shop because we got another problem, okay? I gave them the specs of what I wanted. I beefing this, this front end up to like the new machines. All right, the newer models. The newer ones don't use bolts that go through the steering, which is goes through what you and I know. If you know one of these machines, they're called... Oh God, what are we talking? shoulder bolts. All right, so we beefed this up. See the thickness we beefed up? This is how thick it was before, about half inch. We double plated it. So because there's so much stress with that ram pulling, the bolts would start to oblong it out over here. So we beefed them up. Now I got to order the newer ones use crush bushings in here that go in, then the shoulder bolt. But I have some crush bushings that are made for half inch. I have to order an inch. So I'll order them out and I'll put a link. If anybody wants to know where I order my hydraulic supplies from and stuff like that, I'll give you, just 
put it in the comment. If you want it, I'll send you the link to where it is. So these were drilled to the wrong size. They were drilled to the old, which was a bolt, and the bolt would wear out, the threads would wear and give, and that's when you knew it was time to change. Really, I don't like that. So the newer system is shoulder bolts. I like that. And the newer machines also cut this. I showed you in the last video. They cut this. So I'll measure it out, make a template off the newer machine out there, cut it, and we'll get it going. And see, and I thickened up this side here. This side is where the ram connects here, and the pressure going back and forth, we thickened this up too. All right, so I found a new machine shop. The guy has a YouTube channel, and he's right here in my town. I went and visited him. It's called Helix, and it just, I just spent 15 minutes with the guy. He was fantastic. I said, hey, could you help me out? He goes, oh, I got you. Bring it. And so he's a YouTuber, and hopefully we'll make a YouTube on how he uh, bores those out for me. Because I was just going to get a, a bigger bit and drill them out, and opening up holes with drill bits like that is not the right way to do it. I'm not a machinist, but I sure like hanging out with them guys because they teach you a lot. So, I'm going to work on this, clean it a little bit. I only need a little bit off. I could sit here and hand file it flat, but I'm pretty damn good with a four and a half inch angle grinder. All right, all right, all right. It went in, put the pin in. The new pin uses a castle nut in the back with a cotter pin. The old system used just a, it went through a washer and then it had a bolt with a lock, lock washer on it that came in, in the middle of the shaft. Not a good system. This The castle nut way is the way to go. They also went to a bigger bolt in the front to hold it from walking out. So this is the original one. I'm gonna drill it to the next size bigger and tap it. I don't have the right tap here. Uh, <laughs> the tap I had, I thought I had, I didn't have it. But I also have to take this off and drill it for the grease cert. And, but right now, look. <coughs> Suspension's heavy duty. Everything's gotta be cleaned up. It's gotta be spray painted, but before I do all that, I'll do the drilling, the tapping on the back. So, till next week. So, the old, old big beauty Judy is almost there. Heavy duty, the front end. I'm working on multiple things. I'm trying to get the Crown Vic done on the other side for Father's Day. So, forgive me. And then, I wasn't looking forward to machine shop doing sloppy work. But, I got a new guy. And when we do these... These other pieces, I'm telling you, I'm going to be there with him. And he's got his own YouTube channel, and he's just super nice to me. I just met the guy, and in five minutes, I clicked with him. And you know, he's all about his, dad, uh, his son and him, too. He's got a little son. But what I use to polish that up, I use a flapper disc. And I'll tell you the truth. I don't lie on any of this crap here. I use 60 grit. And it polished it very smooth, gently. I didn't want to use a regular grinding bit. It's too aggressive. These are about 24, 36 grit. Too aggressive for what I was going to do. I just wanted to polish that surface around and then get it up in there. Everything's working fantastic.